What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I know you haven't seen me in a little bit. Um, I was on vacation and just chilling at my room. This video I'm gonna give you updates on snakes. Um, we got a new pet. It's kind of a surprise. I think we've already made a short of it, but um, we'll give you a full detailed story. About it. So number one, the rats. So we're working on the Sith rack, which is gonna be down. Oh wait, no way. Oh, he built it already. Holy crap. There's a mouse right there. Um, we fed a lot of males to um, one of our other bigger snakes. And um, we have a lot of females. We, I think in here we have two females that are either pregnant or we think they're pregnant. We're not 100% sure yet. We've got to keep an eye on this. And if you hear like a little sting noise, we got these fly traps. They work 100% perfectly. They're honestly, that one broke. What is it? that? What is that? What? Uh oh, I'm out. I'm actually out. I don't. I don't like this. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking I'm good. I'm. I don't really care about bees and stuff like that. But when it comes to like wasps and stuff, I'm not. No. 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 But yeah, that's kind of all I know. I know there's two females in here that are gravid or potentially gravid. Um, I think there's a male in here and like five or no, not five, like three or four females. I'm not 100 sure. I don't really pay attention to the rest. That's kind of my dad thing. But um, but um, yeah. Next up, we have um. Mm, I don't. I, I hope. Give me a second. So we got two new snakes. Um, this is a double head pied albino. I think. Yeah, double head pied albino. Honestly, she's a very pretty snake. She has really nice patterns on her. She, oh, she's trying to go around. There's a good angle right there. And we also got a new snake. Well, we got, like I said, we got two new. Um, I'm gonna show you this one and then I'll show you the other one. Like all other ball, or ball pythons, they're not too active not a hundred like they're more active at night because they're not kernel but um sometimes sometimes we'll get some good footage at nighttime but most of the time not really oh well, she's a little bit she, like bouncy like if you get too close to her face she'll back up really fast all right now i'm going to show you the other newest snake we have so this is our pied het albino honestly he's a very chill snake he doesn't like moving a lot he just sits there and stares at random things, really. I'm not gonna show you too much of him because I don't want this video to be really long. So, um, yeah, his patterns are really pretty. He looks like he's about to go and shed. His eyes are kind of blue, just a little bit though. But yeah, his patterns are really pretty. Um, he's in a striking position right now. So I'm a little bit scared. Anyway, let's go to the next update. Our next update is that we got a 70 series rack system. It only has five slots and we have seven snakes. So we have five of our oldest snakes in the rack system and then two just in little bins because they're babies. The newest ones are the ones that are in the little bins, but the little bins are perfect. They have perfect amount of room just made for snakes really. I'll show you a little picture. Well, maybe not a picture, a little video of the rack system because we have two of our bug containers on top of them. So we have a little bit more space for storage. I mean, I am a millennial, that is what we do. <laughs> we don't have a lot of snakes to be really honest. We only have seven, but we're guaranteed to get more because the newest update and one of the most exciting, our gravel male with our pastel yellow belly female. We paired them up for a good three days and now we took the gravel out and we're gonna see if our pastel yellow belly is gravid. Our goal is to get highways. It's a black snake with like sometimes yellow lines in the middle and it looks literally just like a highway. And we might get lucky because the female is a proven breeder. So she's most likely gravid, but the gravel has never breeded. So he might've never done anything cause he doesn't know what he's doing. But we're gonna hope that we got some good things, some good news, and yeah. And the newest update, 
we got a leatherback bearded dragon. I am so excited. Our original normal bearded dragon is actually in that room right there. And he's honestly pretty, pretty big. He's like a forearm size, like the, as big as my forearm. He is honestly getting pretty big. He's like six months old, eight months old, something like that. But the leatherback bearded dragon we got a little bit early is really young. It's still a baby. I'm gonna give you a couple clips. And the, the um, enclosure it's in right now is temporary. Um, it's it's good enough for now until we get um, another bigger tub because bearded dragons, when they get older, they like to run around. So we have to get them a bigger tub. Here it is, the big surprise. Our leatherback bearded dragon, she is a female. You can just kind of tell by, she doesn't have much spikes like a real male would. She has like a pretty dark green color on her back. Her tail is black at the bottom. She is um, a month or two old. We got her from a snake expo today, actually. We didn't make the YouTube video at the snake expo because we weren't selling anything. We were just there to look and maybe hopefully buy. But we went there to get a good bearded dragon when we came home with a good bearded dragon. She's super healthy and she is not skinny. She doesn't have any problems on her tail, toes, legs, foot. Um, she is honestly just chilling. She is still trying to get used to the house because um, we just bought her today. But um, yeah, she is honestly a very chill bearded dragon. Our and her name is Evie. Her name is Evie. Well, she don't want to go out there. But yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at, Evie? Huh? But yeah. Um, yeah, this is Evie, guys. And another update is that my, or our dog, Odin, turned five a couple weeks ago and we just never made a video about it because our channel is about reptiles but our dog is included he's older than everything we have pretty much we started um doing snakes about two years ago but then we got rid of the snakes well it, not like that we sold them but because we didn't have the no we had money but um we were getting really lazy and um, we felt bad for the snakes, so we got, we gave them away. And, um, but now we're back at it again. We used to have two snakes that we have seven and we are um, going to breed really soon. So we're not giving up this time. We're gonna take care of our snakes and we're gonna take care of everything we have that needs to be taken care of. What are you doing? Good boy. But yeah, anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe. If you did not, bye.